Hello, this is Steve Wheeler, my wife Veronica and our daughter Grace are GoTo Nation missionaries. We've been missionaries with GoTo Nation since 1995 and right now we are currently serving in Kenya in East Africa. The vision my wife and I have is for equipping the churches in East Africa to do the Great Commission and this is accomplished by doing Global Pathway Conferences which is a step-by-step -step, uh, training on how to implement missions into a church. So our goal is to be able to launch mission movements in East Africa that will affect the nations of the world for Christ. Once the pandemic uh, happened and the ministry that we were doing uh, was put on hold, we were wondering what we would do with ourselves and we found a way to continue reaching out and ministering. And one of the ways that we have done that is by uh, feeding the homeless uh, that live in our area. We've discovered that there were a group, large group of people who were living on the streets and we decided that we would take our funds and uh, work with a local restaurant to provide a meal. And uh, we've been doing that uh, every month for the last month. And now we are in the process of turning that ministry over to our church to run. Uh, when we had talked to our pastor, he had uh, told us that they had a ministry to the homeless people themselves uh, when they were at the previous location. So we thought it was a really God way to get connected and to connect that church back with the vision that God had given them. So here in the next couple of months, that ministry will be turned over uh, to our local church to run and we'll be involved a little bit uh, just as overseers. Uh, until it can be tur turned over completely. <clears throat> One of the other ways is that there are, that we've been able to reach out is that there are two people uh, in our neighborhoods that God has given us relationships with. One of them, his name is Mr. John, and he's a crippled guy. He's paralyzed in both of his legs, and he sits out along the side of the road outside of our housing complex. Veronica led him to the Lord uh, earlier last year, and we have been discipling him uh, over, these, over these last several months, and we've been uh, purchasing food and uh, doing other things for him as uh, he is needed, uh, that is needed by him. The other way that we've been reaching out is we have a guy here in our complex, Mr. Jonas, who's kind of like a landscaper, a handyman, uh, guy and we've been hiring him to do some extra work for us. And when we first met Mr. John, Mr. Jonas, uh, he had told us that his wife and daughter had left him and that they were uh, separated. So over the course of the next several months, we began to teach Grace how to pray. And Grace began praying that Mr. Jonas's wife and baby would come home. So after several months, uh, Mr. Jonas came up to us and with excitement in his eyes, told us that his wife and baby uh, were coming home. So that was a real answer to prayer. And Mr. Jonas and I continue to have uh, teaching moments from time to time whenever I see him. We talk about uh, marriage, we talk about family, uh, we talk about kingdom culture versus African culture on how we're to treat our wives with respect and love and honor. And uh, he's been uh, following through with some of the things that I've talked to him about. For instance, when his wife first came back to him, he uh, uh, got into some arguments with his wife and and we had a chat about that. And, and uh, he told me one day after that, that they had decided to adopt our culture, uh, which is talking uh, openly between the two uh, spouses. So we're so excited about what we've been able to accomplish and what we've been able to do in spite of the pandemic here in Africa and across the world. We are finding ways to reach out and be a blessing. So we just want to say thank you for listening to this video and thank you for being a part of our lives.